case I'm this morning? I'm optimistic that the, the uh, different representative of the different nation will accept to uh, discuss, negotiate, fight against racism without having to change our position about systemic uh, racism. Uh, groups are saying, yes, there is. Some are saying, no, there's not. Uh, I'm talking about the Quebecers in general. So I think the last thing we need is to divide Quebecers, but because there's something that uh, everybody uh, uh, believes is that we need to fight against racism. We need to take action. And welcome back. Quebec has a new Indigenous Affairs Minister. Ian Lafreniere is a former Montreal police officer. This comes after the backlash over the death of Joyce Echaquan. She filmed herself experiencing racism and insults from staff before her death in Joliet Hospital. Where does Quebec go from here? Nagouset is the executive director of the Native Women's Shelter of Montreal, and she joins me now. Nagouset, welcome to Power Play. It's good to see you. Um, when you heard the premier um, announcing Mr. Lafreniere would become Quebec's new Indigenous Affairs minister, what was your immediate reaction? Shock. I was uh, just shocked. I almost thought it was a joke. Right. The thing is that, you know, here in Montreal um, and working with the SPVM, we've had a very fragile, broken relationship. So I immediately thought of all the people who have been coming forward to talk about the different abuses that have happened from the police, how many times we've gone to the table and tried to make a better working relationship. And then to hear that they appointed Ian Lafreniere as uh, Indigenous Services, uh, whatever his title is, very, very, very shocked. Well, interesting, because the Premier was asked that question today at the news conference, and he said, actually, he knew that he got a little bit of pushback for that, but said, you know, that will bring the police uh, forces and, you know, Indigenous communities a little bit closer Perhaps uh, there will be a reconciliation or anyway, a rapprochement. What do you think about what the Premier said about that? Okay, so in Montreal, 11, uh, Indigenous women are 11 times more likely to be racial profiled. That has not been addressed. It's uh, over a year since that report came out. The Viennes Commission came out with all kinds of recommendations for the police. That has not been acknowledged or administered. And if you look at Canada worldwide, you see all kinds of abuse from the police. If it's not Chantal Moore, then it's the chief that was assaulted by the RCMP in uh, a parking lot. And no one is ever accountable, right? So most Indigenous people have had uh, sort of bad relationships with police, whether it's on a personal level or, level or if it's like a community level. So when you put the police in charge of us, that's not Good. We don't need policing. We need reconciliation. And I don't think he has a track record in reconciliation, in working with Indigenous communities. He's pretty new to these, this position. So, but Mr. Lugo, the Premier, was saying that none of the 11 uh, communities, nations in Quebec wanted to deal with the former uh, Indigenous Services Minister of Quebec. So, therefore, he thinks, he believes, and uh, don't ask me why, that they will be more ready to sit down with Mr. Lafreniere, who's a former cop. And as you say, the relationship between Indigenous communities and Quebec cops are not fantastic. So, what are you looking for in this new minister? Well, uh, he has huge uh, shoes to fill. I used to work with Jeff Kelly. We worked really, really well together. He actually came to the Native Women's Shelter. He helped implement a contribution agreement so that the women could have psychological services. He gave us money so that we could have uh, a second stage housing. Uh, never met with Sylvie Damour when she was there. So, you know, he needs to go into the communities in his, and he will always be remembered as the police officer. And that is going to trigger the community members when he comes in. If he 
would like some advice, I would say get a group of Indigenous people around you to walk into those communities and to give you the information that you need in order to have reconciliation. We know what needs to be done. So if he's in a position to ask us our opinion, get our expertise, and actually get the work done, we're so there for him. Well, you know what, Nagusit, that sounds like very good advice, and I hope they heed your advice. Uh, thanks so much for talking to us, and have a wonderful weekend. Thanks, you too.